Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this petite flower headband. And the reason why I'm calling it the petite flower headband is just because I have a tutorial already called the flower headband. So I had to think of another name. But you can make this headband using any flowers. This is my uh, divine flower. And I have tutorials that I can show you, that I, that I show you how to make both of these. So you can go and get those or any flower that you like you can make as long as it's not too big and I'll show you how to put it on a headband like this so for this project you're going to need a headband preferably with the little spikes that come down this one's spikes end about here and so I'm only going to do just as you see here the top part because it's best if you leave some spikes here on the end so that if it slides down some, you still have some extra spikes here that'll catch it. That way you don't have to worry about glue or anything like that. You're going to need a tapestry needle. This is a 3.5 millimeter hook or a size E hook. And the flower that you want to use and the color for your, your headband. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is grab my 3.5 millimeter hook. Once you have your flower made, then come to come back to this tutorial and and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, all I'm doing is making my slip knot. And if you've ever made a scrunchie or one of my scrunchies, it's done exactly the same way. But like I said, because you want it to to uh, catch in case it slips some, you want to start a little farther down, about uh, fingernail or so down. So I'm going to start about here and you go under your headband and you want to grab yarn pull it up to where you can do a single crochet so you have two loops and pull through one, two. And that's your first. Try to attach it as tightly as you can. Now you want to repeat that. I'm keeping my tail up against the band, the top of the headband. Just keep going down, pulling up a loop, and then going through both loops to do your single crochet. Just like that. And you want to keep doing this all the way down the band. Don't make it too tight, but don't make it too loose. And when you get to here, you want to stop a little ways before the end as well giving yourself some extra teeth here as well. I also wanted to tell you, do your best to keep your your crochet, single crochets up at the top. Okay, I crocheted all the way here and you can, you know, kind of work it down to where it's on there good. You don't have any big gaps. And get your scissors. I can't find my scissors. They seem to disappear. So I guess I'm just going to use these big ones. Anyway, you want to leave yourself some tail because you're going to be using this tail to sew on your flower. So when you get your last single crochet done, you want to chain one, which I think I already did that. No, I didn't. You want to chain one just to make that knot to secure and pull it up. Tighten that down. Good. You need your tapestry needle and whatever flower it is that you want to use. You're going to thread this. I hate these big scissors. They're definitely not as good as my small. To thread the. Figure out where it is on your headband that you want it. If you want it in the top or if you want it on the side, I want mine on the side. So I'm going to decide I want it about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to feed it through my single crochets up on the top here. Just like that. And it's going to bring my yarn through up to that point 
for some reason I'm stuck. There we go. Now, now that I got my flower up to this point, I'm gonna put my flower back, center it as best I can on the single crochets and the center of the flower. Now you can go in through the band first and then go in through your flower. Since I'm going to this side, I want to grab on this bottom part of my flower, not up here. You want to grab this side when you're coming back through this direction. So that I'm going through here, I want to put my needle through some of the bottom of the other and making sure again that your center is up against where you want it to be here. So that way when you're sewing it's not going to get off centered. Now every time I go in through this side I'm going to grab some stitches, go through my single crochets on my band and then grab some of my flower on this other side as well. And you want to continue to go back and forth until you feel like you've got your flower secured where it's not flopping around or anything. And that, that way you know it's going to stay on top. Just like that. And of course you can lift it up, lift up your project. You'll be able to see it and do it much better. So continue to do that back and forth. You really need to have a long tail. I cut mine too short. But I did manage to go down and then back up again. Here I am again. Now I'm on the side of my flower now. These are the petals. So this is my side of the bottom part of the flower. And I'm pulling it through like I did before. But this time I'm going to leave this loop. I'm not going to pull it all the way through. I'm just going to pull it to where my little tail here comes out this side. <coughs> my little tail comes out on this side. So I'm going to pull it and then there's my tail. And here's my loop. So I'm going to go ahead and feed my tail through my loop that I have here. See there's my loop. And I'm just going to pull it tight. Now I'm going to get my 3.5 millimeter hook again. And to hide my tail I'm going to go down and push myself through those single crochet stitches on my band and grab my tail and pull it through. I'm going to do it again. Going in through the single crochets at the top and just pulling my tail through as best as you can. I know it's difficult but I just want to try to hide it. I have a little extra there but that's okay because I can hide it in my flower here. There we go. Just try to do your best to hide those tails. And then that's it. It's done. And that's how you make a flower headband. I hope that you liked this tutorial and that it was helpful. And don't forget, whenever you're making one uh, later on, make sure that you leave a long tail so that you can really sew in this flower. Especially if it's going to be in the middle here, definitely leave a long enough tail to feed it up here and just be able to sew it back and forth so you definitely need a lot of uh, yarn so that's it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to like and share this video